8th of April 2024. This news flashing will talk about wind. <laughs> the wind is all over us in the news everywhere. And I want to talk about a few basics around this wind story. The first thing that I want you to understand is that wind is air that is moving in a certain direction. And there is physical realities in that movement. Look at an airplane wing. Imagine an airplane wing. That airplane has to travel at a certain speed down the runway before the thing starts lifting up. Why is that? It's because the air moving over the wing is creating lift on that wing. That's correct. The faster the wind flows over the wing, the more lift it provides. That's, that is simple physics. Now look at the houses that people built. They built a flat roof house. And then the winds come like it's now blowing in a cape. And all of a sudden their roofs fly off. And they can't understand how did that happen. I've got a flat roof. That wind speed that moves over that roof is the same as the wind that moves over the air, airplane's for wing. It creates lift. It lifts the roof off. It doesn't blow the roof off. That's physics. But again, facts doesn't matter. When the bullshit stories is blown in, out of proportion into the news, the purity is fed to the demanding feeders. Purity. But the fact, the stake in it is, the speed over that roof, that is what creates the lift on the roof and it lifts the roof off. It doesn't blow the roof off, it lifts that roof off. In the 70s, I'm talking about the 70s because I remember that and I was in there. Sunlam did not give you a bond on a house with a flat roof unless there was a structural engineer certificate with that application detailing the roof construction. Why was that? First of all, they know, they knew from experience, a flat roof will leak. If it doesn't leak this year, it will leak next year, but it will leak. They know that. Second thing is, flat roof is very susceptible to wind damage. Okay, then we go to the other end of the scale. People building these 45 degree pitch roofs. No, no, they don't want a low pitch because the people in the street will think they're poor. No, 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 must have this high pitch, 45 degrees. What happens with a 45 degree roof when the wind hits it? The wind hits that 45 degree facing the wind and it deflects upwards. Deflects up and over the roof. And what happens? Lo and behold, on the opposite side of that roof, there's a massive vortex developing there that rips that roof off. Look at it when there's wind damage to a 45 degree pitch roof. The roof is damaged not on the side of the, from which the wind came, but on the side where the wind was going to. That's where the damage is. <laughs> Again, fuck the facts. Let's focus on the story. That's the problem. People don't think. And then you get this other absurdity. People build a 45 degree roof and they thatch it. <laughs> now that is a disaster waiting to happen. Because not is that roof only susceptible to wind damage. That roof is severely susceptible to fire damage. And that is where that 45 degrees, they have to have it, otherwise that thatch roof will leak. And with that steep face facing the wind, if that wind blows any sparks, it hits that roof and it's in between the grass and a perfect place to kindle a fire. That's the story. But people don't think. They spend massive amounts. If you look at a building, at, your, at a house being built, and look at the cost of the roof in comparison with the total cost, you will be stunned. Some people spend 50% of the cost on the fucking roof. Has anybody ever walked into your house coming to visit you and tell you you have got a great roof? They don't do that. <laughs> 
They come in and they look at your furniture and your bathrooms and your kitchen and things like that. They don't give a shit about the roof. Meanwhile, you spend 50% of your money on that roof. But what is the ideal roof? The ideal roof is a 30 degree pitch, 30 degrees. Between about 28 and 34 degrees. But let's stick to 30 degrees. Why is a 30 degree pitch a good option? First of all, if the wind hits that roof, that 30 degrees does not deflect the wind over the roof. It, the wind follows the curve of the roof. One side up, other side down. That's how it works. Whereas on a 45 degree roof, it hits that 45 and it flies over the roof, creating that vortex at the back. On a 30 degree, it doesn't. It's like the rolling hills on the Eiffel Alp and things like that. The wind blows and goes, that's it, no damages. But 30 degrees, ah, the pitch is too low, we're going to look poor, we're going to look like we suck all and cock like that. And if you go and look at the other side of that, on a 30 degree frame, the best option is single length corrugated iron or steel iron, roof sheeting, single sheets. Your chances of wind damage is very low and your chances of leaks are basically zero. You will pick up leaks on the fasteners if the, const uh, the contractor doesn't know what he's doing. But that's it. That is why. The second option is metal tiles. Harvey tiles. We all know it as Harvey tiles. And a Harvey tile is incidentally designed to be at optimum performance at around about 30 degrees. Just over 30 degrees. Optimum. Doesn't leak. No problem. And then you get these other people that put up these roofs these slate roofs. That is insane. It looks great and spectacular, but it's insane to do that. First of all, if you look at how those slates are packed and stacked to prevent the thing from leaking, and you must have a solid waterproofing membrane other, uh, under it, because if the wind blows and it rains, the water will move and get in between the tiles. But these things are not important when they report about the disasters that hit roofs of houses and so forth. And then you look at this, what hap what's happening in the squatter camps. It's all flat roofs. So when the wind comes, whoop, it rips that roof off, it lifts those roofs off, and then it crushes this, the walls because the roof gives it structure. So when you see these things happen, just for a moment try and think what could have been done to minimize the potential of wind damage to houses. And it's easy. A decent pitch, 30 degrees. But we live in a country where things like building regulations is no more enforced to ensure quality building. No, building regulations is used as a way to extort money from the contractors. That's what it's being used for. Why? Because the bulk of the building inspectors that is active today in towns and cities and so forth are so fucking stupid, they don't know how to build. They know nothing. They've got no technical experience. They've got nothing. All they have is that book with the rules in and they come onto your site and they start giving you shit with the rules and demanding money for you to sign off on this and sign off on that and sign off on that. That is where we are. We allowed it to happen to us. We allowed corruption to become a daily thing, just part of parcel of your life. That is where we are. And then we allow the media to feed us as much shit as possible to get the people into a frenzy. And we don't look at the facts. Yes, that wind that is blowing in the Cape is absolutely, it was a monstrous wind. But a lot of that damage could have been prevented by decent design. But this is where we are. Facts doesn't matter. Bullshit. That is ruling the roost. And I feel sorry for the people that pick up damages. But many of them. I look at the damages that occurs and I think to myself, it was so easy to prevent that. And now they are in tears and hysterical and things like that. Meanwhile, they themselves are responsible for that shit. Because when they made the decision about their roofs, 
They didn't use common sense and engineers to guide them. No, they let vanity guide them. And they pay the price now. So, in conclusion, just remember this. A flat roof is a dangerous roof. A 45 degree pitch roof is a dangerous roof. Don't forget that. That is simple facts. Mathematical facts. Physical facts. Talk to the engineers and they'll tell you. But vanity is a weird thing. And it will always trump common sense. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support.